Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do an updated Twin Flame reading for the collectives. Hi, everybody. How are you? Okay, let's look and see. Let's check into this energy like we always do. See if it changed. See if it stayed the same. Spirit, join me at this table. Let's tap into the energy of the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energies. I hope you guys had a wonderful week, and I hope you're having an even better weekend. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for donating into my channel. You know who you are. Thank you. Thank you for supporting Virgo the Oracle. I'm trying to get it out here to y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get it out here to you. All right. Let's see what's going on. Spirit. Let's tap into the energy of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies, those that are in union, those that are in separation, those that are in love. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what you got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. What is happening? these cars in a while. They're pretty big. Pretty stiff. Let's break them in. Let's break them in. First position. Two of coins, which is the two of pentacles. Okay. What are we going to do? A ten card spread? Yes, yeah, do a ten card. Twelve or ten. One of them. Hangman. Second position. Mm -hmm. Five of swords. Okay. Two of spears, which is the two of wands. The hermit. Lord have mercy. Let's do a 12 card spread. The strength card, okay? We're going to do a 12 card spread. Mm -hmm. Okay, strength card. And we have disguise. Okay. We have the chariot. Mm -hmm. We have six of coins. Mm -hmm. We have temperance. Okay. King of cups. And we have the healer. Give me a minute. Let me look this over. All right. We're at the bottom of the deck. We got the King of Swords. Okay. You guys got somebody that uh, that wants to come and tell you their truth. It's very hard for them to do. Very difficult for them to come and tell you their truth. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are not even focused on their truth. You're focused on yourself, your business, your your coins, your work. Okay. Yeah, this is a king of coins. This is somebody that's focused on their work, too. Some of you guys, king of coins, king of coins and a queen of coins. Some of you guys are like some type of power couple. You work well together. You may even work together, okay? Some of you guys look really good together. Let's see what else we got. Lord have mercy. Spirit, come by here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got one, two, three, four, five major arcanas, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on here. First position is the two of pentacles, two of coins, two of pentacles, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. You could be Earth Energy yourself. Yeah, some of you are dealing with someone uh, who don't know what they want. They don't know what they... No, they don't know what the hell they want. Mm -mm. This person could be juggling you and someone else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This person is very indecisive, okay? This person is trying to make a decision between you and someone else. This person has... A path, they have to make a decision on which path they're going to take. If they're going to be with you or if they're going to be with somebody else. And this seems to be very difficult for this person because they're not telling you anything with this hangman right here. 
Okay, you got the two of coins with the hangman. So this person, let me get it up. You know, I got these nails on. This why I'm weird as crap. Okay. You got the two of pentacles with the hangman. Two coins with the hangman. Okay. This person is juggling you and someone else. They don't know what they want. They don't know what to do. This person has to make up their mind because they, they're not sure what they want. They don't know what the hell they want. And they're not telling you anything with the hate man energy. This is stuck energy, okay? This is not telling you anything. This is no movement at all. You don't know what's going on right now, okay? This person is trying to juggle you both. Mm -hmm. Not invested much in this. You barely see them. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. And when they do come, they say nothing. You don't know what's going on. You don't know if you're in a relationship with them or not. You don't know what the heck is going on because they're not telling you anything. Okay, you may have cut this person off due to that too with this five of swords. Yep, you may have cut this person off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You may have said enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You might have gave up on this because of this, because of this indecisiveness, because of this not knowing what's, whether, you, whether they're coming or going. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with a, uh, what is... What is swords? You could be dealing with a, um, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. You could be air energy yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this indicates disagreements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You may feel that this person was playing too many mind games. You know, they they lying. This person is not being truthful to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could have gave up on this due to this person's ego. This is a lot of pride and ego. Mm-hmm. This person could be arguing and fighting all the time. If it's not with you, it's with the other party. It's just a lot of disagreements, a lot of chaotic energy. Mm hmm mm hmm Lord have mercy. This person wanted you to stay involved in this. You know, don't talk about it, don't argue about it, don't disagree on it. You know, I know it's not good, but just be quiet and, con and continue to tolerate it. Take it. And you said, hell no, make a decision. Two of swords. You said, make a decision. You said, you got a major decision to make. You got a very important decision to make. I, I advise you to make it. Otherwise, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Okay? You tell her you gave this person an uh, uh, ultimatum to shit or get off the pot. Mm -hmm. With this two of spears. You know, two of wands. Mm -hmm. They have to make a choice. This person has to shit or get off the pot. They have to make a decision. Mm-hmm. This person needs to pick a path between two people. And this is what you told them. If you didn't tell them, you damn sure orchestrated it because you fell back. You stopped talking to them. The hermit right there. Mm -hmm. You cut off communication. You may have walked away. You could be a Virgo. Could be a Virgo. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Some of you could be Virgo or you're dealing with one. You may have cut off communication, walked away. You said, uh-uh, enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. I can't keep going through this with you. I'm not going to keep playing this merry-go-round game with you. Around and around, around and around, around we go. Same shit, different day. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. And you know, hermit energy, hermit energy is notorious for shutting things down, okay? They will shut down, stop talking to you, stop speaking to you. You won't hear from them, you won't see them because they like solitude. They go into solitude to get strong. Strength card right next to that. She's coming out. He or she is coming out strong, honey. When the Virgo shuts down, they come out strong because see, they shut down to re to rethink things over, to think things over, to to come up with to rethink the situation, to come out with a different outcome, come out with a different plan. Okay, this is how a Virgo gets their strength by shutting down, going to into solitude, letting spirit leads them, lead them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you may have shut down to think things through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether you Virgo or not, you may have shut down to think things through. This is how you get your strength. This is how you get clear-headed. This is how you decide what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Some of you have gotten very strong in what you're doing. You're getting, you're getting strong dealing with this person, dealing with this, this uh, connection that you're in with this person. You're getting much stronger, okay? You're not tolerating as much foolish, foolish foolery as you was touch as you as you was tolerating before, because you feel this person is not being honest with you. You feel this person is, is nothing but uh, a disguise. You feel they're not being their true self. They come up with all kinds of masks, and you like, what's the real? Who's the real? You understand? 
And you like, uh uh, I, I don't, I, you're not being truthful. You're not being honest. I'm not gonna keep playing these games with you. But here they come running. Got the chariot rushing in, rushing in quickly, because they don't want to lose you. And you're saying, well, if you're gonna come, come correct, come honest, come true. Who are you? What's going on? What do you want from me? Speak up. Cat got your tongue. What's going on? What you want from me? You want me to keep playing these games with you? You want me to keep playing these these merry-go-round, up and down, up and down games with you? I'm not going to do it. Nope. Now they want to come in and reciprocate. You got the six of coins. Now this person is ready to invest in you. They rushing in. <laughs> these people, this person is rushing in. I said these people, Lord. They're rushing in. This person is rushing in to invest in you. Okay? They're ready to invest in you. They're ready to heal you. They're ready to fix you. They're ready to show that they're that you're that they're in it just as much as you're in it. Okay. But you're like, I can't get the truth out of you. I can't get honesty out of you. I don't know what to believe with you, but this disguise card here. You got the temperance. This person wants you to have patience with them. This person wants you to hold on tight. Give me a minute. Let me get myself together. I, I want this. You know I want this. You know how I feel about you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But things are not what it seem, and this is what worries you. This is the disguise card. See, things are not what it seem with this person. Okay, things are just not what they seem, and sometimes you guys have to look beyond beyond the appearance. Okay, that's normally what this card indicates: something hidden and not easily noticed, but vital to like everyday life. Okay, and it's crucial for you guys to look inward as well as look outward. You know, to produce this good outcome. Because th things are not what it seems. I tell y'all over and over again, things is not what it seems with this individual. They are not being truthful. Okay? They're not telling you the real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some of you guys can feel it. Some of you guys already know it. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius with this temperance card here. Excuse me. This person wants you to be patient with them. They want you to wait for them. Hang in there with them. Please don't give up on me. I need you now. I need you now. I love you. Mm -hmm. Get the King of Cups. This person loves you. Okay? This person wants you to have patience with them. They're not ready for you to give up, throw in the towel and let them go. Because they really want this with you. They just don't know what to do with this. Okay? There's somebody else in the picture and they don't know how to cut that off. They don't know how to walk away with, from that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm person could be married already in a long-term relationship however they already invested in something but now they're ready to come invest in you as well this person loves you this is hidden love unspoken love this person loves you and they won't tell you or they can't tell you but you know already you know they love you this energy is too intense there's no way on god's green earth that this is one-sided it's too strong you know mm -hmm. somebody's not feeling well but they're getting better. They're gonna they're gonna have a recovery. We got the healer right here. This person may look at look at you as their healer. They may, may look at you as the one who makes them feel better, the one who makes them um, help them heal or help them get better. Or you may have helped them heal. Okay, they might have been sick. You help them get better. Okay. You may be the one who uh, who really uh, does it for them when it comes to. Uh, their health or or their their peace of mind, you know, something like that. Some shape, form, or fashion, you make this person feel better. You're like a healthy elixir for them, okay? They can't get enough of you, okay? You make them feel better. You stroke their ego. You pump that. You put an S on their chest. You you get them. You get them ready for the world. They go right back out there. Get all depleted. Get all drained. Get all sucked out, fucking with the karmic. Or the, excuse my language. You know, I get passionate and start cussing. Messing around with the wrong person. Then they want to come back to you again to feel better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They want you to feel. They want you to heal them. They want you to make them feel better. They want you to stroke their ego. Tell them all is well. You'll be okay. I'm here for you. You know that type of stuff right there. But a lot of you got tired of it and you shut it down. You're getting stronger. And this, this is what they fear. They feel you getting strong and walking away totally. Let me get some clarifiers and see what else we got. Let, let, let's, let's, let, let, let's get some clarifiers. Spirit, can you give me some more messages, please? Give me some more messages, would you? 
Can I have some more messages for the collectors? Can I please have some more messages for the collectors? We got black magic here. Somebody's trying to study, trying to do some magic to knock you down and knock this down. Who is this idiot? Somebody's study trying to control. They got no power. They can't squash, squash a grape. And they have to be careful because this is backfiring. This, this black magic is backfiring. It's only making this person come at you more. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius yourself. It could be a Sagittarius who's trying to throw this black magic, thinking that it works. You're very intuitive, Divine uh, Energies, whoever's here watching this video. You're very intuitive. You know what's going on. Don't negate that. Don't negate no no intuitions or any vibes or any any feelings that you get. Pay attention to it. Write it down. Got it down or write it down. Yeah, this person is in a karmic relationship that you that you're in with, you're in love with. Your person is in a karmic relationship, okay? They're with somebody that they have to get this lesson from. There's nothing that you can do about that. Just let them get their lesson. Sit back and enjoy the show. This person going to be calling you. They want you to answer the phone. You might not be speaking to this person right now. Or you had no intentions to talking to them or something like that. You don't want to talk to these people, to this person. You're done. You're angry. you like, enough is enough. Go ahead with your foolery. This person could be in a very toxic relationship. A lot of fighting is going on, okay? A lot of arguing. A lot of unhealthy energy is going on. It's not what it seems, guys. Somebody's probably smoking weed to feel better, you know, to get their energy up or to get healthy or something like that. Somebody might have had to call the cops. Okay, you guys could be cops your damn self. Smoking weed. Look at that. Yeah, some of you want a commitment with this person. This person want a commitment with you, but they got to get out the one they in first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want a commitment with this person. You're like, if you ain't coming correct, don't come at all. Lord, have mercy. You're like, uh-uh. You wasting too much. You have wasted too much of my time. And a lot of you are getting very strong and you're walking through this. And you ain't turning back. Some of you are Virgos. You could be dealing with a Virgo yourself. Mm -hmm. Virgo strong in this reading right here. That, that Virgo sign along with the Hermit. There's a Virgo strong in this one. Okay, come through spirit. Come through. What else you got? No, you, you could be a Virgo with a Gemini. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could be a Virgo with a Gemini. Or a Gemini significant in this situation with you. Uh, you could be also be with a Scorpio. Virgo with a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Or, or Scorpio could be significant in this connection with you. Okay. Actually, you could be a Virgo, Gemini, or Scorpio who's going through this. How about that? But there's a strong Virgo somewhere up in here. Somebody dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, somebody wants to grab control. Somebody wants control of this situation here. Or, or some of you are grabbing your control back. Yeah, this person wants control because they used to have it. But some of you have taken your control back and they don't know what to do. All they know is they don't want to lose you. Okay? But you don't trust them. Mm-hmm. You don't trust them at all. Mm -hmm. This person's not telling you the truth. They lie. They pretend. They wear a mask. They act like, you know, that everything is everything. And it's, it's nothing. You don't know what the hell to call it. Some of you are waiting. You're waiting to find out exactly what's going on. You're waiting. You're waiting to find out what this person want from you or do y'all have something together or you're waiting to move on. You're manifesting whatever, whatever it is that you want out of this, you're manifesting it. Rather it's to move on or to stay with this person. Whatever it is, or to get an answer out this person or get some communication out this person. You got a lot of jealousy around you too, divi uh, divine. It's a lot of jealousy around you guys. I want you guys to be careful with that jealousy. You know, that envy and that jealousy is worse than a it's worse than witchcraft. I try to tell you. It's worse than witch witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful with these haters. They ain't nothing nice. Spirit come through. What other messages do you have for the collectors? Can I have some more, please? 
you guys are taking a trip or you just took one. Mm -hmm. You're coming back off a of vacation. Had to give some place to clear your head, to clear your mind. Some of you guys had to go get refreshed. Mm -hmm. Somebody's definitely doing spell work, guys. Tell them good luck with that because they're not catching you. They're not squashing a great one you're in. Somebody just like to play. They like to play like they some sort of witch doctor. Some of you guys are dating somebody that's younger than you. A young tenderoni. Ooh, he's a cutie too. He's a fine number. Lord have mercy. Some of you guys got a nice looking young buck. Black magic. I can't make this shit up. Somebody is really trying to interfere with you getting this person here. This person must be something special. Whoever you guys are here for, they must be something magnificent. Because somebody is going all out to make sure you don't get them. Somebody is really trying to block. They are cock blocking. Remember that term? Yeah, that's what they're doing. And this person is saying, how did I get into this? And how do I get out of it? Lord, have mercy. <sighs> the reason why these people can't touch you because you stay in a high vibration. You're highly protected. Your spirit guides plays no games. Mm -mm. You got ancestors that will come down here and kick ass. Okay? You're highly protected. You're highly guarded. Okay? You're in a high vibration. They can't touch you. Okay? This is a very low vibration energy. I don't know why these uh, counterparts of you guys always pick somebody that's beneath them. I guess because it's easier for them. Somebody that's above them make them nervous. Mm -hmm. You guys are very intuitive. You use your third eye. Your third eye is being activated. You see stuff. You know stuff. Nobody can tell you anything now. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are really uh, doubting it. Stop that doubting. Stop negating. You know who you are. You are what you are. Face it. Accept it. You, you, you like tarot for a reason. Some of you guys are waiting and hope. You're waiting and you're hoping that this person come to their senses and get it together. Because you really enjoy this connection with this person. You really enjoy what you have with this person. This person does it for you. It's something about this person. This is not your average pick. You normally wouldn't even pick this kind of person. But it's something about them. Lord, have mercy. You can't shake it. You done tried to go on to somebody else. You had fun with that other person, but it ain't like the last person. You're going to get a, a drunk text from this person. This person is going to text something from to you and be surprised the next morning. <laughs> be down right in Paris. Give me a minute. I done dropped them off. Somebody gonna be downright embarrassed tomorrow. Either you or them. The energy goes both ways. Okay, let's see. What did we leave off at? The drunk text. Spirit, can I have some more messages? Yeah, this is the only reason why this person can talk to you, or sometimes it's the only way they can talk to you and give you their real. You make them too nervous, they gotta get some liquid courage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the hell? A Virgo again on top of Virgo. Some of you guys are clearly Virgos, okay? Some of you guys are clearly Virgos here. No doubt. I'm tapping into some Virgos for sure. Virgos, you make this person nervous, baby. The only way they can talk to you is to get a little liquid coverage. They got to smoke a blunt. They got to drink a drink. They got to get a beer. They got <laughs> to get a little tipsy first. They not as sharp as you are. They got to get some liquid coverage. This is your soulmate we're talking about. We're tapping into. Your soulmate could be a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Since so the fellow on that Gemini. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be Virgo Gemini combination. Yeah, somebody is very unhappy here. Somebody is very unhappy pertaining to you two or, or somebody in this relationship is just not happy with it. Or somebody is very unhappy that you two are trying to get together or, you know, want to be together or something like that. You might got a real jealous third party. You may feel your person is a cheater. Mm -hmm. You can't trust them. Every time you take them back, they go right back to the same old fuck shit. They be good for a little while. Then before you know it, here comes some more dumb shit. You're very intuitive, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't negate that. Stop shaking that. The card came out for the second time. I think it came out on, with the last deck. You're very intuitive. Use that intuition. You're very psychic. You know like you know like you know. Don't let nobody take that from you, okay? 
In other words, you, you, your head is not playing tricks with you. Somebody is moving out. Somebody is going to be making a move, okay? There will be a move, that's for sure. Something is happening. There's a lot of passion between you two. You guys can't shake it if you try. It's too, it's too, it's too strong. You got a lot of passion for this person. Passion is just like love. It's like, oof, it's like I can't get enough. You burn for them. They burn for you. You yearn for them. They yearn for you. You long for them. They long for you. Oh, it's just so intense. It's like I can't get enough. Let's see what else they're trying to say to you. Spirit, you got any more messages? What do they need to say to each other, but they don't? Can I have some more messages? What y'all, what do they trying to say? What does they, what do they want to say? to each other what do the masculine want to say to the feminine how about that okay we got permanent mark you left a permanent mark on their heart they ca that can't be erased even if they try it you will always be remembered okay this, this is a connection <laughs> same soul different body this is a really really uh returning connection okay this is somebody that you've known before this is not new okay this is why they seem so familiar this is why they seem like ain't no way in hell i can stop loving this person i can cut them out my life i can walk away from them okay we got passion ignited their intense sexual desires towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love mm-hmm mm-hmm that's just a problem right there. This is it's just too intense. It's just too intense. And if you guys have never had sex before, shit. That's even worse. We got past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment that they met you. They knew you were the only, they knew you were the one they've been waiting for. Wow, look at that. Okay. This person recognizes you. And they recognize your soul the moment that they met you. And they knew you were the one. Even if they were with somebody else, even, even if they was already in a relationship, they knew when they met you. They said, God damn, this, here it is. This the one. And so did you. We got the justice card here. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra with those scales right there. Could be dealing with some kind of ear sign with that uh, sword pointing to the floor. This is a person that finds it very hard to communicate with you. This is a person that finds it very hard to express their feelings. But yet they want to be fair. They're trying to do the right thing. Some of them walk around blindfolded. This individual is blindfolded. So, so, so some of them walk around like, you know, they don't know where, where they're going or where they're coming or what to do. Some of them act like they just clueless. Okay. You got healing, okay? Uh, they're at the end of the of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance into the connection. Okay, your person may be getting over some type of ailment. Mm -hmm. They could be healing you or them. Okay, you guys could have been not speaking. Okay, this connection could have been uh, in turmoil. You guys are healing. You guys are starting to speak again. You, you're starting to talk again. You're starting to have some kind of two-way communication, okay? We got insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. Lord, have mercy. You ain't going to be able to get rid of this person, whoever it is, guys. Lord. You ain't going to be able to get rid of them. Mm -mm. This is who they are. This is who they are. They are your person. And this connection was meant to be. You're not in something. This is not because you didn't have nothing else to do. This is this is some kind of unfinished business that came that that spilled over from another lifetime, okay? What y'all didn't do the last one, you will try to you will try to mend it in this one, okay? Or the next one. We got innocence, okay? Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. This person might not feel that they're good enough for you. Mm -hmm. This person may feel you from the other side of the tracks. This person may feel you deserve better than me. I ain't shit. Get away from me. Go on. 
This person may feel broken. Mm -hmm. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. So be patient with them. Yeah, this is it. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. Mm -hmm. This person don't think they deserve you or something like that. They may not deserve you, but should you love who you love? You want what you want. Mm -hmm. People might be saying all the time, what you want with them? Remember what I said. Keep your love life to yourself. It's none of their business. They'll never understand any damn way. They'll never understand. You might be saying to yourself, what the hell do I see in this individual? <laughs> I must be bugging. Something wrong with me. Hey, you love who you love, baby. It's written in the... It's written. It's written in the, in the stars, baby. It's already written. It is what it is. We got astral karma. Karma? Astral karma. There are cleansing negative astral patterns that were passed down through generations. Don't rush the journey. This person got some, uh, got some, uh, what you call it, generational karma to re to repair. Mm -hmm. Some ancestral, some ancestral karma. What I call it, astral. I'm sleepy. Ancestral karma. Yeah, they're clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through generations. So don't rush the journey. This might have been some shit they seen growing up. You know, they saw their father do it. They saw their grandfather do it. They saw their uncles do it. And they're trying to break the pattern because this is a new day. This is a new time. Okay. Okay. We got at last, at last. They don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will be worth it in the end. Lord, y'all gonna get what you want with this person. Lord, have mercy. I know it's taking a long time. I know it is. And I know that they're coming back and you think it's gonna get better and they go right back to their fuck shit. But yet you still got this connection with them and yet you still got it with them. But let me tell you something. When it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I don't care how far you stray, how far they stray. Okay? When it's meant to be, it will be. Shout out to Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Okay? When it's meant to be, can't nobody stop it. We got unseen factors here. There's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still so much to unfold. Yeah, this is clearly unfinished business, okay? You got some more. You got a great deal of unfinished business coming through, uh, guys. Whoever you're here for, whoever this reading is, is tapping into, whatever, whoever is getting a message out of this, okay? It's, it's not for nothing. Don't negate it. Don't, don't dismiss it because it's not perfect. It's not what you want. It just is. And unfortunately, this is the person that you, you're connected to right at this moment. Okay, and look how different it is from the last ones you were with. Okay, you can see the difference. You can see this is something unique. This is something unheard of. This is something unnatural. Okay, this is something supernatural. I should say it that way. There's something special about this connection here. This is why my readings are called Twin Flames Updates. Okay, something is brewing. We got brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. Here it comes. Something coming. Lord have mercy. Something coming. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Be prepared for it. Be patient with it. Okay? Whatever is coming, be patient. We got solitude. Okay? Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. Yeah, some of them been by themselves for a little while or they've been sick. They've been, you know, been still, been in solitude. Okay, they haven't heard from you. They haven't talked to you, so they gave them time to think things through. We got the wishing well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. Okay, you awaken a new life in them that has them lost in the field of possibilities. This person may get real giddy when they talk to you. Talk to you on the phone. They may get so super duper giddy. Might turn child, just like a little high school student. Okay. You know, they wishing well. They wish for you. They pray for you. You make them, re you renew something in this person and vice versa. Okay. Okay, we got sexual union. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more spirit. Can I have one more? 
We got Taming the Beast. You make them putty in your hands. They don't know, uh, their, they know their old conquering ways will not work with you. So that, you know, that fuck shit, they used to try with other people. They know not to try with you. Mm -mm. Been there, done that. You've been going through this with this person for far too long. You know all their little hidden tricks, they little hidden games, and it's just not working with you. It's just not. <laughs> they can't squash a great with you, not with you. Mm -mm. You see right through it. You don't even laugh at their dumbass jokes. You don't even laugh when they're trying to impress you no more. That shit used to be cute. Now it's just not cute at all. Spirit, can I have some more messages? What else do you have to say to this collective? To these collectives of divine feminine, divine masculine. And yes, somebody's not feeling well. We got bad health again. Mm -hmm. We had the healing card with tarot. Either somebody's not feeling well in the hospital, they're getting better, but somebody was sick, okay? You or your person, 31 at the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll be better. They'll be feeling better in about 31 days. Mm -hmm. About four weeks, they'll be feeling better. If they are sick. This is a wealthy man we're talking about. This is somebody that does very good uh, in their business. Very lucrative. Okay. They're not feeling well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They might ask you to nurse them. Mm -hmm. Some of you got some sudden wealth coming in. Number 11 at the top. Mm -hmm. You got some uh, sudden wealth. Dealing with this wealthy man mm -hmm. who needs you right now. This person needs you right now. Lord have mercy. Yeah, they definitely want you to join them on some type of journey. Mm -hmm. This might be the person that you're on this journey with. This might be the person that you're, you're on this divine uh, soulmate journey you, they may ask you to take a trip with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see some pack, some bags, some luggage being packed. Might be going away. Might be taking a trip. Mm -hmm. This person's going to ask you to be their privileged lady. They want you to be theirs. Okay? They want you to be theirs. They're a privileged person. They want you to be theirs. Okay? Well, you will become this privileged individual with this person. Okay. Life will change with this person or something like that. Okay. Yeah, they want you to be their main squeeze, their main female. Mm, interesting. This person wants you to be theirs. All theirs. Mm. All theirs. <laughs> okay. You may have a child with this person. This person might want to have a child with you. Okay, a child might be important here. Somebody could be pregnant with child. You got a message of concern coming in. You're gonna hear something of importance, of concern. Something that caused you to grasp your chest. Mm -hmm. Could be pertaining to a child or it could be pertaining to, a, you might find out that you're pregnant and it might blow your mind. Mm -hmm. It might be like, oh no, I don't want no babies. I hope you enjoyed my reading. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. I share.